What's up guys? It's Kevin here. Fashion board ways. I'm here to talk about, I know I'm a bit delayed, but Jound New Balance uh, collaboration that just released, just released a few months ago. Um, and I have both colorways right here. And I just want to do like an overview of them, my personal thoughts of them, uh, as well as just sort of talking about Jound in general. Um, just a quick overview. New Balance and Jound had a relationship prior to the 992s. Uh, they did a 990v3 uh, back in i believe 2018 that was limited to 100 pairs uh that was super super limited in my opinion it was just so hard to get your hands on them uh mainly because that was at like the beginning of when new balance was trying to pick up uh i guess momentum for collaborations uh so that was sort of like a proof of concept to see if like there's actual interest for it and then this past two years or so has been really where they ramped up uh, the amount of effort and energy they've been putting into collaborations and such. So this is sort of the amalgamation of that, the Jound New Balance 992s. So I have both colorways. Here is, oh, it's kind of dirty. Okay, so here is the brown or gray colorway. I genuinely don't fully understand why they called it a gray. I think this is definitely more of like a brown. If you guys can see, this is, in my opinion, definitely more of like a brown. Um, and this is, personally, I think this is one of the most wearable shoes I have in general. I actually wear this really, really frequently to work. Um, and it's pretty much my work shoe most of the time. Uh, the 992, uh, quote unquote, gray. Sadly, I did not get these for retail. I had to pay resale for them. Uh, prices were a bit steep, but I think they've gone down a little bit in my opinion now. Um, they've kind of stabilized. The green pair you can find for like 500, um, the gray pair, or brown pair like this, you can find for like anywhere between like 600 to 700, I believe. Um, yeah, personally, really like them. So here's that, and here is the green. Both of them kind of come in this very simple, minimal, New Balance, Jown co-branded box. Uh, you don't really get too many like extras or anything like that. Uh, here is the green pair. I think, okay, so prior to the release, I was a huge, huge, huge fan of the gray slash brown pair uh, because it sort of reminded me, so I was a big, big fan So I was a big, big fan of the gray and brown pair, ginormous fan, um, because it reminded me of the V3, which I honestly really, really wanted and just couldn't get or couldn't find a size eight for under like three grand, which I thought was ridiculous. Um, so that one I've been wanting ever since. And then I thought that was like an amazing substitute. But the more I saw the green, and the more I actually wore the green, the green is actually my favorite of the two. I think just the color of this green is just absolutely phenomenal. And I think the more that you would wear it, the more it'll like fade into like a more mossy green. Well, right now it's very much kind of like a, um, a pine green almost. It's such a deep, deep green. And the fact that they used suede and nubuck and like materials like that for this, um, I think it'll age very, very well, uh, in my opinion. Big props to the New Balance team, um, like such as like Joe Grandin, um, I think Sterling Lynn. I'll put all of like the Instagram at people um, that I personally know from the New Balance Energy team on the screen, so you can give them a follow. They have some cool posts as well. Um, and actually like one of them has a YouTube channel, so shout him out too. Uh, but the green is just where it's at, man. Like it, it looks so, so good. Um, from a few people that I talked to, um, especially at like retailers, I believe there's one retailer, United Arrows actually had these, but they had a product description that I haven't really seen before. And I haven't had the chance to talk and confirm the information with the New Balance team. But essentially what they said is the green pair was for like weekends and it was for playing. It's sort of like the duality of like what you would traditionally wear, where the green pair, a bit more eccentric, a bit more for the weekend, a bit more for fun quote unquote, and the gray brown pair, and this one is more for like the work shoe, this one is more for like the utilitarian type of thing. Um, 
I'm not quite 100% sure where the heck they got that, nor do I think it's necessarily communicated very well um, in any of the product information. There really isn't much, uh, much background in terms of like what was the concept behind both the 992s um, in terms of color or inspiration. Um, I'm personally assuming that this is like something that they think a castle rock colorway is going to look like after it's been worn, after it's been like really, really put into the beater. Um, and I swear the green pair, there was a 998 that the colorway was very, very similar to. And I swear Justin was also wearing something of the same colorway. Obviously the primary difference between that 998, um, Outside of obviously the model is, I believe the New Balance logo and the New Balance embroidery on the tongue uh, was done in white. Um, so it was a green and white and uh, black colorway type of shoe. But um, at least that's what I think, because Paolo Bonte is a somebody is like a frequent collaborator of Jam, a part of the Jam team, and he's reposted pictures of that and he's posted it like a year or two ago. Uh, so I'm sure that they started postulating what sort of ideas they can bring forth uh, back then because it does take a while for like a product to actually come through into like fruition. Um, but yeah, um, if you guys haven't tried on any 992s, I would personally recommend um, if you like a little bit of room in your shoe, go true to size. Uh, if you like a bit more of a snug fit, size down half. Um, I also personally think that, okay. So like this is my own personal gripe for a lot of shoes is that, or at least whenever they make shoes is they have, so like this insole looks fantastic, looks great, but this is printed on there and I'm almost a thousand percent sure that if I wore this for like a day or two, it's gonna rub off. Uh, so I kind of wish more companies did like a more printed insole, uh, at least in terms of durability and kind of making sure that the insole itself lasts or at least the design of the insole lasts longer. Uh, so that's why I have kind of replacement insoles that I personally like more um, in both of them kind of to preserve, I guess, the insole. I know that's some like weird nitpicky type stuff, but like um, another thing is that uh, I do wish that it did come with like another set of laces. I feel like it would have been cool to come with um, kind of like monochromatic lace uh, where we have the cream laces laced up but also an additional lace of like the same alternative colors like the green on this one so you can lace green on green or the gray on that one where you can lace gray on gray uh, so that personally I thought maybe was like an opportunity uh, missed um, I know that they the only shoe that I know that they added additional laces for were, um, I swear that, yeah, like the Reebok Club C's, those had additional laces. Um, both the nylon as well, the nylon, this upcoming nylon has additional laces. But the New Balance one, I think the old one only came with one lace. This one comes with one lace. So that's my only thing is that if you're going to be paying, um, retail is like, like anywhere between 220 to 250 I think. Uh, like varying on like the region, but like if you're gonna be paying that much, you kind of wish you got a little bit more. Another thing that I've seen on a few of my New Balance pairs is that, um, like don't get me wrong, the quality and the materials that New Balance uses are great, uh, but personally I feel like their quality control isn't all the way up to par sometimes. Um, I've had a, a 990 V2 um, of the ALD collaboration, and I've had like three pairs of them, and then each pair looked significantly different uh, from the other. Uh, especially, like something that you can kind of notice right away is like even the back where it says Jound, the pretty much the only co-branding thing. Uh, it's not perfectly like evened, if you can see that. It's not perfectly straight. It's not perfectly um, aligned with each other. There's like slight differences. Um, I've definitely seen some that are like even worse. Uh, there's just minor like stitching and like minor glue stains. Like there's a few stitching problems on like my gray pair as well. Like if you can see that. Like some stitching issues. Um, there's like some glue stains, especially it's a bit more prevalent in terms of like 
on the inner lining, I would say, or on the inners of the shoe. But um, that isn't too much of a gripe. It's it's just that I've, I've been noticing that with some of my New Balance Made in USA pairs is that they aren't very aligned in terms of like keeping QC uh, kind of consistent. Like, all, like also, okay, so like another thing, another, I guess, key point or like a key point or key visualization for the QC, I'm just unlacing these to show you something, is okay, so here is the tongue of my, my left shoe. And then you can see that there's like a bit of excess fabric on there. So like when it folds down, it like creates like an excess fold and an excess wrinkle, uh, which I don't think was planned because on the other side, on the other side, I don't really have that like excess fabric like wrinkling in. So that's also something. Uh, I don't think my greens have either of that either. It's just minor gripes. It really isn't that big of a deal, but I just thought I'd bring it up just in case anybody from New Balance is watching. Maybe just a little bit more focus on quality control and like maybe consistency. I think that's what I really like about a lot of Jown products just in their personal like in their inline products is that they're always consistent in the sweats and the crew necks and stuff like that in terms of like quality. Um, in terms of like cut, they're always changing things up. But in terms of like quality, I think they're one of the most consistent brands, even though they have a relatively limited catalog. Uh, these are my thoughts of the New Balance um, 990 V2s. What do you guys think about them? Um, I'll do like uh, an on foot of them really quick uh, just to get your guys' ideas and like you guys can see what they sort of look like on foot. Yeah, and like let me know your thoughts of like what New Balance is doing, um, what they're sort of pushing in terms of revitalizing the brand, recontextualizing the brand um, to the modern scope. And also please do check out, I did a feature of a podcast, it's called um, uh, podcast um, with my friend Alexander. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below. Here's a quick snippet of it. Mint shape and I just thought it looked super sick as well as they have like sort of like I don't know kind of like a fanny pack for the shoe and I just thought that was so dope like I really love like the texture of the shoe. But yeah all right I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace.